And I just love coming to the house of God, no matter how I'm feeling once I get here. Oh my God, it's just so refreshing. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. And you can have a seat. Everyone, you can be seated. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to thank Pastor and Brother Bemery for this opportunity. Um, I want to thank all the moms. Moms, you are awesome and great. We want to thank Sister Blankenship for being our best mom, our head mom. Hallelujah. This morning, I'm going to be brief. It was... um. It was pretty interesting, you know, doing five spots. It's really nerve-wracking up here, <laughs> if you guys don't realize it. Um, this morning, my title is The Blessings of Motherhood. And Javis, who is credited for being the founder of Mother's Day, Pastor has spoken about it before, was interested about, she was, what's interesting about her is she was never married and she didn't have any kids. She actually started it because she wanted to be closer to moms. She wanted to make sure on this day that we don't celebrate by buying gifts, by just buying stuff, but making sure that we take time out for our moms. So try to remember that today. Mom, Mother's Day is every day. It's not just today. So make sure we're taking care of our moms. Mother, Mother's Day was viewed very um, important by Lord, the Lord. Motherhood was viewed as a heritage from God. When we think of the different types of moms that we have, we notice that there's all kinds of moms. There's step moms, there's spiritual moms, there's adopted moms, there's the moms who we just decide to call moms, and I know we have quite a bit around here. I think every time I turn around, I have another child. I don't know how many I have right now, but I'm so happy to be full of kids and young people who want, you know, want to listen and want to have mothers in their lives. In John 19, 26 through 28, if we pull up the, the scripture, it says, when, de when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by him whom he loved, he said unto his mother, woman, behold thy son. He wanted to make sure that he acknowledged his mom, that she understood that he was acknowledging her. Then he said to the disciple, behold thy mom, and from that hour the disciple took her unto his own. Must be something, because my iPad is going crazy. <laughs> the revelation I got this week, you know, it was very interesting studying it. Um, the revelation that I got that we all think Jesus, he did a lot when he was here. But the last thing he did was to ask a disciple to take care of his mom. I never realized that until I did this this week. That's how important motherhood was to Jesus. He said, I cannot go and do my father's work until I made sure I take care of the one who brought me here in the physical realm, my mother, my mom. The, as mothers, the Lord has given us great assignments to change and influence the world. Great moms in the Bible, such as Sarah, Hannah, Mary, Job, Huckabed, Rebecca, Ruth, were just a few that influenced and changed the course of events. Do you know moms change the course of events? We understand dads are on the battlefield, but the mom is the one home just rocking, just nurturing, just saying, go ahead, you can still do it. Don't matter what's going on, you can do it. Most dad is going to say, get up. Be a man, stand up. But moms will be like, I know you got it, baby. I know you do it. Don't matter what's going on, I know you got it. You may not get everything right, but I got that confidence in you that you can do it. That's what a mother do. A mother encourages. A mother influences. What the greatest influence you are going to probably have in your life is the moms around you. It doesn't necessarily have to be the mom, your physical mom, but those spiritual moms. I have quite a bit. I'm standing here because the spiritual moms in my life who help guide me into the things of God, who help strike me and said, hey, this is how you do this. So in, in ending today, mothers, just remember how important you are to the kingdom and to the world. Jesus felt so strong about mothers that even to the end of his life, the end, he did not leave. He did not say, okay, I can go on the cross until he says, I have taken care of my mother. 
Today we celebrate Mother's Day. Let's try to be an example of what Jesus says to each one of our moms that influence us. Don't walk away today. Don't forget, I don't care which woman that has influenced your life. You wish them a happy Mother's Day. You make sure you do it with a smile and not do it only today. But I challenge you to keep doing it and saying, moms, you are important to us. Happy Mother's Day.